There was a thread I made a couple months ago about prove them wrong. And today I'll tell you the story about why I've been repeating prove them wrong throughout the years of my entrepreneurship journey. It was proving my father wrong. And today I want to tell you about it. Prove them wrong. Why was this a saying I repeated inside my head for the last couple of years in my journey? Well, let me explain. It was August 27th, 2021. I just turned 16 and it was the closing day on my first ever real estate wholesale deal. The home belonged to my grandfather. It was one of the happiest days of my life, but not for someone close to me, my own father. My father never truly believed in what I did. I knew he wanted the best for me, but the best for me in his eyes were really just the dreams for himself not my own dreams. He always set the bar really, really high for me. These were his exact words when I closed it. You were only able to do that because it was our house. It was easy for you. That got me pumped. This was the start of the quote, prove them wrong. I had to prove him wrong. I could not let him step over me like that. I'm a very competitive person at nature. So a couple months later, I worked ridiculously hard to make it happen. And I did. It was the last day of school of junior year and the start of summer. It was the closing date on a property in Northport, Florida, a 3-2, two-car garage. I never set foot in the home. I never spoke to the owner and not a single dime was put in the property. And I did this all while I had classes and I collected a sweet, sweet check of eight grand. I told my dad about it. I thought he'd be happy. No. He said, that's cool, but I don't think you can turn this into an actual business. Again, That got me pumped. I got you, dad. I'll prove you wrong. And again, I did. That summer, I did 28,000 total in assignment fees as a 16 year old. I thought I really did it. Again, he was not impressed. So next month, I closed the deal for $40,000 in profit. My biggest wholesale deal yet. Completely virtual. Never set foot in the home. Never spoke with the seller. I didn't rehab it. I didn't have a license. And I was still in school. Finally, he cracked a smile. I felt like I won. I felt like I beat the final boss in the hardest video game I've ever played. But what kept me going? Repeating these three words inside my head. Prove them wrong. If you're in a place in your journey right now where you have a ton of people who don't believe in you, and it could be your friends, your family, and even yourself that have doubts. Doubt means that the dream you have is so big it makes you uncomfortable. If you don't have doubt, you're not doing it right. So repeat this inside your head. Prove them wrong. And I'm telling you, that feeling, when you do prove them wrong, is the best feeling ever. It's not about the money. It's about proving those people who didn't believe in you wrong, and you keep going. You have people to prove wrong, and if you quit, you prove them right. So you just watched this entire video and you don't subscribe to me? Shame on you. Go and subscribe right here, or right here, I don't know where it is, but go right now. Go right now, it takes two seconds. Stop watching. Just right down below, right there, right, right there, right down there. And like the video while we're at it.